Hi there, it's Ryan here at Funk Motorsport and today we're going to be talking about the IS38 Turbo Blanket, specifically for the Golf R, Audi TTS, Seat Leon and many others in the range. Our blanket is designed specifically for this turbo, unlike other blankets on the market which are pretty much universal fit which may or may not work with the uh, application that we're talking about here. Today I'm also going to be discussing some of the benefits of a turbo blanket as well as how to specifically fit this turbo blanket to your IS38 or your Golf R. Turbo blankets are designed to reduce underbonnet temperatures. This can help in a multitude of different ways which you may not necessarily consider. First up, and most importantly, is reducing your intake temperature. Naturally, you can see here the close proximity to the cold side and the hot side, as well as the other intake pipe work which may be found within your engine bay. This helps to create a more usable power and a more consistent power curve uh, throughout a multitude of runs. Other areas uh, where heat soak may, may uh, cause a negative, um, maybe oil lines, fuel lines, water lines, and things like that. Um, a cooler temperature on these can actually help them to work more efficiently and um, allow the, your engine to continue running healthily. The last area in which you may not have considered would be your electronic components. Okay, Things like starter motors and sensors can become very sensitive and actually alter the way they perform, depending if they're hot or cold. They can also, um, have a reduced lifespan if they continue to operate within a, um, a high temperature window. Our turbo blankets are available both in carbon fiber and titanium and they both perform exactly the same it's just the final top layer of material which actually varies to give you that different look. So now we're going to look at what's inside the packet. Okay so you've got naturally the two parts of your turbo blanket you've got the larger part just here and you've got the smaller part just here that will all become quite clear later on as to why there are two parts. Um, you've got your fastening springs as well um, which are found just here which are very easy to fit and very easy to work with and you've also got a product guide which is very interesting and definitely well worth a read. Okay. So first up, you need to identify your turbo blanket, which has got the larger opening and which has got the smaller opening, as you see here. Just to make it a little bit easier for us down the line, I'm gonna go ahead and affix some of the fastening springs, just because it may be a little bit harder to get to, particularly when they're in the engine bay. So you want to identify the larger side, and then you'll see on the, uh, on the bottom there, you'll see a fastening anchor, okay? Just like that. You wanna fasten two springs on there, um, just ready to go, and as I mentioned earlier, very easy to fit as you see just like that okay so you've got one there and then a second one and that will become obvious later as to why we've done that okay and I'll push that to one side and also on the second smaller piece on the middle tab just there you want to fit another um, the final final safety spring just like you see here okay push that to one side for now so what we're going to do is naturally you'll see the inlets and the outlets for the uh, cooling of the core and actually we're going to try to keep our turbo blanket to one side and once once this is fitted to the car you're going to have various lines and stuff coming out of those our turbo blanket won't interfere with that okay so first up you need to identify the larger side once again and that wants to be inboard okay so you want the larger side that's just here to be inboard Okay, so if we just lift up our turbo, or you know, just place that in place, now you'll notice that that's quite a nice fit around there, just like that. Okay, don't worry about the final fitment too much just for now. We'll get to that, um, you know, finalisation in just a moment. It's just about placing things things where they need to go. Okay, so as you can see there, it's it's nicely just to one side, and we're going to need to tilt that just to show you you guys at home of how this is going to fit. Um, and then you also see the smaller piece here. Okay, so the smaller piece actually just slots in and you'll also see that the, there's a bracket here. It will slot in and the spring will actually go to the side of the, um, of the bracket like you see there. So now you can see a slightly different angle. Um, first up, you wanna make sure that your turbo blanket is actually out of the way of this EGT sensor just here, okay? I'm showing you how to do that just here. And what you're going to want to do, and actually the second piece is going to be up here, is this spring needs to fasten onto this anchor point just here, okay? So it may be a little bit fiddly, but once it's done, you can definitely play around with that a little bit later on. So as you can see there, that fastens just like that. And then once that's nice and secure and in place, then you're going to repeat the same thing with the second spring that you've got on there around this side, okay? Just here. 
You'll notice that that pulls the second piece nice and tight. So now that brings us back to this spring on top, which we fastened in place earlier. That's going to go underneath, and it's very important it does go underneath. That's going to be secured underneath the actuator arm and actually secure in place to this here metal tab that you see. Okay, so once that is in place, then now it's just a case of manipulating it onto the turbo just to make sure that it doesn't interfere with any of those lines and looks very good for the... Um, the downpipe. Okay, so naturally you want to just ensure that that's not interfering with the downpipe fixing points just there. Um, you just want to kind of push that out of the way. And obviously if this is fitted to the car already, uh, it'll be a little bit easier just to manipulate this into place because the oil lines and, and coolant line, return lines will already be in place. But you just want to make sure that, you know, you can definitely see those gaps there all the way around. And that's pretty much it. That's our turbo blanket fitted to the IS-30A, as you can see just here. If you've got any other questions, just let us know.